The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials down 30. NASDAQ is off 7. S&P is down 2.5. Gold contract up $3.50, trading at 1203 We have silver down 5 cents. $14.71 an ounce. Light sweet crude. That caught a bid last night. Bottom line, we're going to have uh, EIA numbers out this morning. That's up a buck 40, trading $67.24. Notes and bonds still will not give it up. You get the 10 year note up six ticks, 120 21. 30 year bond up a half a point, 145.17. They're both at the top of their range, folks. May 30th is what they're looking to test. And that's going to be a big one because we take out May 30th. Guess what? Um, this is going to be a good day to test it because we get the Fed a minutes at 2 o'clock. Yeah. And that's going to uh, basically push that around. King dollar, King dollar failed to stay outside the high, uh, its higher range. We, we had broken out last week, came back inside yesterday. Bottom line, they were at 94.990. The euro is at 116 to 1 US dollar. The yen is at 110.40 to 1 US dollar. Uh, we got our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks. He's been shopping at Target. He's been shopping at Lowe's. I think he must have brought his whole family out there and bought a few. Bye, uh, bye, bye. Bye, <laughs> bye, bye. And listen, folks, every trading day right here, you want to understand the option market upside down, the futures market, you want to understand fast market. Bottom line, great program, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time, every trading day, right on your cell phone. Just go to uh, YouTube, hit TFNN, subscribe. It's free. Great program. Kevin Hinks, you've been doing a lot of shopping, man. <laughs> I'll tell you, there's not enough Hinks to cover those numbers. Holy <laughs> cow. <Big> number. <laughs> I'm telling yeah. you, man. You know, you know, it's wild is that, you know, we were looking, um, you know, it, it, and what happens, folks, is that, of course, on platforms, we happen to be on the Think or Swim platform. And when you look at where Lowe's was trading prior to the open, right, we have it up yeah. right now. It's like. You know, we were at 95. Quite a number, man. 6 a.m., yeah. right? It goes from 100 to 94, yeah. and then they light the rocket ship, man, and it takes they off. They light the rocket. And, and, folks, technically, Lowe's is an ABC structure on the way up. It took out the B point, has volume. It's a 20-point ABC up with a price projection of 107, at 17. We're at 107. Kudos so, to anybody buying that in pre-market, man, because that would be a fun morning. Oh, my God. Yeah. Seriously, man. You know, and it's just... It's a, I guess, Kevin, it's one after the other. We're spending money, man, right? I mean, that's what it comes down I to. I mean, Tom, here's the thing about Lowe's that is so impressive. Marvin Ellison, who came from Home Depot, remember, through J.C. Penney. Yes. He went to Lowe's. He only got there May 22nd, and he is wow. turning around this company. Yeah. Think about this. Joseph McFarland, he's the head of stores now. He brought him in from J.C. Penney. Oh. David Friesen, head of supply chain from Walmart. David Denton, the wow. current CFO of CVS, he's bringing him in as the new CFO. I mean, he is making wholesale changes to this company. And by the way, guys, if you think of – when you think of Lowe's, you think of Home Depot, right? Those yep. are the main two competitors. Right. Well, in terms of a stock, Lowe's is one-third the size in terms of market cap of Home Depot. Right. So if, if this new CEO, Marvin Nelson, comes in and starts to – you know, change things around and grow this company. You know, th this stock, remember, it was down overnight. It's not surprising at all that the stock is making this move, at least in my eyes. No, no, I agree. I mean, I, I was surprised actually when it was down because I was, right. they, they, were good, they were good numbers. I said, oh, this is going to be interesting to see where this shakes out, man, because, right. you know, particularly because what we're talking about, the amount of money that we're all spending is pretty amazing. And so what has happened now, folks, is that our headquarters are in St. Pete right now, right? So it's interesting, Kevin, when I'm riding down here, right, you know, I'm well aware of just stores in general. Because I remember just even sure. being a kid, like when you go through, you know, cycles, folks, which always keep happening, you see stores fill up, you see stores starting for rent. And there wasn't, I mean, every single store is filled. I mean, and, right. you know, I get like a, it's, it's an easy ride. It's only 35 minutes. 
But the bottom line is, man, there's nothing. There's nothing for rent. There's all new stores. It's sure. like, okay, where, you know? Yeah, the low CEO saying something like he's never seen a better time in retail out there yeah. in that call. I mean, right. big quotes, yeah. And and here's what I think. Even some of these people, you're, you're listening to the CEO talk, and even they're impressed with some of the numbers. I mean, TJX, right? Yeah. Same store sales, six percent. Uh, Target, same store sales, six and a half percent. These are massive numbers that you're talking about. You know, clearly, brick-and-mortar retail is alive and well and not going anywhere. They've found their sweet spot now where they're starting to flourish. So some of the numbers in terms of same-store sales, which for your uh, listeners and viewers, that's how retail gets judged, right? People walking sure. through the stores, people, you know, like butts in the seats, right? People in the stores is what same-store sales measures and these numbers are crazy and now if you think of target going forward guys think about this their whole thing going forward now is taking advantage of toys r us's liquidation in terms of holiday sales for toys yeah right toys and babies that that's what they're focusing on for the holiday season i think it's a good play by them no i listen the the babies in particular i think is a huge play because target for some reason i like target but I know if you're buying something for someone younger, it seems they seem to have a, a great assortment. And then the groceries, yep. where we are, the groceries are huge for Target. Yeah, you get a good super Target. Yeah. It's a good feeling in yeah. there. You feel like right. you're getting good fresh produce. It's a right. good feeling. It is. Right. You know, so there, there's real action, man. And the thing that's intriguing, of course, is that you, you know, we're hearing everywhere this is the longest bull market that's just outpaced the 1990s. And the cool thing is, is that as we're outpacing that, well, in the 1990s, every internet stock you know was basically at a loss or you were paying you know a thousand dollars for one dollar of earnings so we're not right we're not there right, right. No. <laughs> you know we're not there which is pretty cool definitely. you know what i mean definitely so, this pretty... is just the uh effect of a retail recovery right these retail stocks that not only got sold tom and tommy but they got oversold and they got a lot of them got left for dead yeah and so what you're seeing now is just a resurgence of these names tell you man it's pretty amazing it's uh you know when we when we come back and we when we look at this you imagine like the the jc pennies of the world just scratching their head saying why didn't i jump on something quicker you know what i mean right like that's you know when you cut to the chase it's it's just like what the, you know the ceo of lowe's does. i mean he sounds like a bill belichick to me <laughs> a little bit right. of bias there from a yeah, well, guy no, why not i'm sure ser I'm, you know i mean when can't you just, deny when you win when that you, many when you just turned around and, and put those three people that he just put sure. in place it's like oh man that that's the number man right you know he's getting his team together and he's just at the beginning now they divested some things the orchard supply hardware yes. they're getting out of that they're really streamlining their business into you know, getting everything, much like you saw in a lot of these retailers, right? right. They've spent the last couple of years streamlining their business, becoming more efficient, you know, and just being ready to compete in this new environment. And that's what it looks like Lowe's is getting ready to do. Pretty wild. Listen, folks, yeah. right here, 45 minutes. You want some great trades? Kevin, Tom, they're going to be setting up. That's Tom White. They're going to be setting up their trades every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. If you haven't test driven yet the Think of Swim platform, come over to our website. You see the banner on the top of the side. Hit it. Bring it up. They'll allow you to trade with paper money. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the program in 45 minutes. Thanks for having me on, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Stay Kevin. Right there, Larry folks. Tom has back. just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up to the date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under trading newsletters. 
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real State LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Call, call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The uh, Dow Industrials right now are down 15. NASDAQ is up 3. S&P is a flat. Let's go take a look at uh, some of the uh, higher volume equities out here. And uh, there's no doubt we're going to have those retailers in there. So um, we'll see whether we get any volume out here today. But Zingo, what's yeah. happening there? Look at, we haven't heard from Zingo no. forever, right? I guess it's up almost 10%, 8%. Okay, so let's see what's happening. I, I forget what Zynga is. So they is. are the game company that works kind of through Facebook is how they took okay, off. They have yeah. um, a lot of games um, that could be incorporated within Facebook. As, you're not incorporated. Yep, I you know that's, them now. Yeah. Yep, virtual games. So... I don't know if they I just... think they Candy Crush was their, oh, their, the enormous one okay. that did first, but I believe they have more than that as well. Yeah, so that was the big one. Let me just, I gotta see what this is. I used to play Candy Crush. Look at that. Before I played Fortnite. So that's, that was a that's $15 the... stock. I'm trying to remember. I believe that was when Candy Crush was rocking oh, and rolling. Oh, I bet. That's when they, that's when they probably went public. It's amazing it's that far back, but... Yeah, well, there you go. They there went public go. at $10 uh, in 2011. Um, so it's amazing how uh, they didn't quite monetize it from what I hear that that game Fortnite is. You know, we keep okay. hearing like Fortnite yeah. could take in billions, right? You're I right. never heard those types of articles about Zynga. They had a lot of people playing. You yeah. could spend money, but it's interesting to see how you can monetize things. You can't still multi-billion dollar company. But, I mean, I think the company's worth about $3.5 billion. Didn't they say that Fortnite might take in about like $3.5 billion yeah. over? So That's pretty intense. It is, man. We take a look at, uh, you get Target up uh, four, four and a half dollars. Whoops, we're going to close that one. You got uh, Twitter's flat, J.C. Penny's, oh, $1.74, J.C. Penny, unreal. Um, Netflix is up six. Not bad. Yeah. So, bottom line is that uh, the thing that's intriguing here, let's see inside the Dow. It must be Boeing that's down or something to keep this Dow down out here today. Let's see what we got here. Nope. United Technologies putting 12 negative points. 3M, 11. Travelers, 10. Nothing heavy. Home nope. Depot's putting 17 positive points. Chevron, 7. 
American Express 6. Well, actually, when we, when we do uh, look at uh, Chevron and Exxon, we're going to be uh, coming up with oil, aren't we? Yeah, it makes sense, right? Yeah. Quite a run over the last 24 hours yeah. with the price of oil, so for sure. Okay, so let's see where we're at right now. Oil, we're going to have oil numbers in 15 minutes. You got less it. Less than that, right? Okay. Less so than that. We get crude trading up 2.2%. Looking at the October contracts. Yeah. You got 209,000 contracts. Yeah. Well, let's let's pull up Nadex. I, that's uh, I kind of like how this is setting up because we've we've got the volatility in it. There's no doubt about it, and that's what we're looking for is a volatility trade. Talk about volatility, right? Right. right. Okay, so it is Wednesday, and it is exactly 10:21. Not exactly, but we got about nine minutes until those oil numbers come out. We're looking at again the October contract. We have oil trading 67.28, and to back it up, I mean, quite a trend, man. You go back to yesterday early in the morning. Yeah. You're trading at 65.40 early, early. You're up almost two solid dollars from that level, trading 67.30. So what we're going to look at here is possibly setting up a volatility trade with exposure to the upside and the downside ahead of those EIA inventory numbers coming out at 10.30. So we got the underlying contract trading. Let's call it 67.30. And jumping to first, we'll start off with the 11 a.m. Okay. expiration spreads. We're going to have a price point here of either 67 or 67.75, which we would get to use on our setup. And that's a little tough because you can see that if you're using the 67 spread, yeah. you're going to have 30 cents of intrinsic value to the positive side. That's just going to increase your cost basis. And if you want to try and use 67.75 to set up mm, exposure both ways, right. you're going to have about 35 cents of intrinsic value to the negative. Now, those might be nice because one has a bullish bias, one has a bearish bias if you want that type of trade. If you're looking for a straight volatility, trade though that doesn't quite line up too well because you have so much intrinsic value in one exactly. way or the other so we jump to the noons that's where you want to get familiar with what you're doing in here download the demo account because this lines up nicely oh that lines up good yeah. 6725 is going to be the price point that we get to gain exposure to the upside here's our bullish spread you'd be buying the spread dollar fifty exposure to the upside what's nice is would have about five pennies of intrinsic value we're five pennies much above. better than 20 cents exactly yeah. so Buying that spread, 67.48, you're going to be paying the difference between 67.48 and 67.25. So you're paying $23 for the bullish spread. And on the flip side, the bearish spread is going to be about five to seven pennies out of the money. So you're paying basically a similar premium minus the intrinsic value, right? right. So that's the difference of these two. Um, 40, 40 cents. $40. Yeah. Uh, which represents 40 cents in the underlying. So you would need 40 cents of movement away from 67.25 because starts to become your break even. And it's not bad when you are. You're trading at 67.32, so you got about a seven penny start to the heads up. A pretty, pretty tight range in terms of getting in there with exposure to the upside, to the downside, defined risk of $40, and, uh, and we get those numbers in six minutes. It's particularly not bad because the, the, the thing that's intriguing here with this release is that you, know, you, you had a big drawdown um, on the API last night. The, the estimates seem to be a lot less than that. You know, we just looked at the estimates, right? Well, at least the Bloomberg estimates, right? Yeah, so, I mean, let's, let's pull it up even. Why yeah. not? So it's a, yeah. it's a cool, it right so, so this yeah. is a, a function on the Bloomberg that talks about the whisper number, right? right? So anybody can go in here and they can, if you have a Bloomberg terminal, you can yeah. kind of put in your, ex, your estimate, and then they'll rank kind of what you do. So maybe right. you can gain some notoriety, you got a lot of fund managers in here, you know, that you have an incentive yeah. to do well. And so they have the survey number, Bloomberg survey number, looking for a decline of 2 million barrels. But the whisper number is a, an increase of 1.2 million barrels. Uh, so they're not exactly sure. And we had a drawdown last night of 6.5. Yeah. So number. you're talking. That's where you, you know. saw the price, given that a little bit of oh, a dip, yeah. where right. oil trading higher right. for the decrease. Um, so those numbers come out. At 10, at 10 30 every wednesday we got about five minutes to those numbers and like we said it's nice when oil sets up on that exact price point and just kind of finish the trade setup let's just see if any of these in the dailies because that's 230 right? yeah so this gives us exposure till noon and what we'd be looking for on the 230s <clears throat> is potentially spreads with the exact same 67.25 yes. price right so we'll go into the 230s first we have 67 you can see a bullish spread from 67 to 70 a yeah. bearish spread so that's about 30 cents of intrinsic value again you know if you want to initiate a trade where you might be a little bullish that's not a bad trade because you have the intrinsic value to the bullish side and just jumping over on different things but not a bad trade again let's just say you're bullish man let's just say you think it's going to continue you're able to buy at 67.46 you're basically paying 16 cents over where the market's trading at 
and your losses, What's defined risk? your losses are capped at 67, right. which is pretty cool when you have profit up to 70. Uh, so that wouldn't really work too well for a volatility trade. And pretty similarly, when you check out the dailies, your you know your choices are either 66 or 68.50. So that's why we drill it down, and you get the noon trade trading at 67.32, and we get those numbers when we'll come back from that break. We'll see what happens. We're going to get some good action out here today because between these oil numbers coming out right now, the uh, Fed minutes at 2 o'clock, I think the market's definitely going to be looking at that, um, the statement inside those, those minutes because what we still have is that you still, we were at 60% yesterday for the second Fed fund future hike. And ooh, yep. that... Right oh, there. Yeah, it's still yep. it's, it's crawling up. It was 59 yes. Monday, 60 yesterday, 61.8 today. Yeah. Yes, totally. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are going to be coming back with those um, uh, oil numbers. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so, crude oil uh, inventories fell 5.84 million barrels. That's uh, that was close to last night. What was it? 5.1? 5.2, I think the Five. API saw last okay. night, but that was not quite the expectation for 
crude, but yeah. either way, the market, you're right, shaking it off in terms of a little bit of volatility, nothing too dramatic so far. We were coming into this number at about 67.30, setting up that trade, so a little bit under 67.07 as we speak and trading a bit lower. Um, Gasoline inventories rose 1.2 million barrels. That's 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 a big number. I mean, yeah. you know. Yeah, especially and, in light of maybe what they were looking for, um, pretty much in line with the API, but big numbers, you know. And there's and the full the breakdown. Full one, right. Yeah. So you have the median estimate being a decline of about 2 million barrels, missed by almost 4 million barrels to the downside. Uh, gasoline, they were looking for a decline of a million barrels, ended up being an increase of 1.2 million barrels. Uh, distillates, more than they expect in there as well, a rise of 1.8 versus 1.3. Uh, refinery utilization, uh, slightly above. They were looking for a decrease of half a point. And, uh, yeah, across the board, let's just and, jump back. And more than likely, what you see here, folks, so is this is that what are they going to do with all the crude? That's what's going on here because you get the building gasoline, you get the building distillers, you got the crude, uh, the refineries running at almost 100%. Yes. So it's like, okay, that's why this market's pulling back a little bit. So it's yeah. like, okay, what are you going to Big deal. You see, so you, you have the, the, uh, the barrels of oil, but guess what? If the refineries are running full, and they can't sell, they yes. have a build. And check out the gas chart. So we're not looking at gas, but gas yeah. gasoline investors are selling on this unexpected build in the gas market. Yeah. So gas kind of tanking a bit. Yeah. And to check back one more time in the oil market, kind of hanging. But And again, the, the trade we're looking at is a potential volatility trade. was going to have 67.25 being the point that you had to keep in your memory. And I, we had to get, what, 45 40 to 40 43 cents? dollars, I, I believe it was going. Yeah, you have right. until noon. And so right now, you, had, you know, even with this move, you'd have about $25. And this is where it gets interesting. It's right. not an all or none game. You know, right. if this wasn't quite what you were looking for, boom, you could just take the money off the table. Right? Yep. You take your 25 back, maybe lose $18 on that trade, right. both legs of it. And the thing to consider is you take that off on the downside right now, right? Here's your bearish spread, 67.25 down to 65.75 yeah you could buy that back right here okay they're going to give you 32 dollars for that right and get this bullish one still remains active well that gets interesting too because we were on we were into it for 43 right? exactly and you got 32 back so you're really down to 10. you cut your cost down to 10 11 yeah. okay. and and um if you're really looking for more upward exposure this spread remains active until the new and next that would version. have to go to 67.35 to become your break even, yeah, right? Because right. then you got about ten dollars right. in there. Uh, but we'll see. We're under sixty-seven dollars now, sixty-six ninety-seven, and we'll check back through the hour. See how that reacts. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Let's go take a look at the XLE and see how that's reacting because that's had a little bounce. So that hasn't done yeah. much. Uh, you know, you had a high out here at seventy-four thirty-one. You're at seventy-four eleven. Uh, Exxon. Exxon's up seventy-six cents. That hasn't affected that just yet. And Chevron up a buck. That was the uh, same setup. Yeah, and I was going to say, you know, it, it. So we're, if 67.40, we're at like 67 right now. Yes. 67.40 would be $2 higher than we were 24 hours ago. So oil stock should be doing okay considering oh, yeah. where we right. were. We were just at 65.40 um, very early yesterday morning. So if oil just kind of holds that 67, not, not a bad deal. Right, let's let's go inside the Dow Industrials again. So it's it's so intriguing. I mean, the Dow only just gave up 30 points, but I'm curious as to what uh, did it. So we just went from 20 down to 50 down. Okay. Uh, it's United Technologies. Yeah, bumping I guess. a little. Yeah, I mean, travelers, maybe it. triple right. M, but yeah, nothing heavy. No. Uh, UTX. Let's see what that's saying. So it's coming down. Yeah. Well, it's not a small move. Nothing heavy, right? Yeah. We go take a look at the uh, Amazons of the world. Look at that, just laying it high. Amazons of the world. There's only one Amazon I in this know, world, man. man. Don't suck. Jeff Bezos is going to be calling our office in no time. <laughs> Facebook <laughs> still can't catch a bid. Uh, Netflix, NFLX. This is, you know, the, Netflix is having a little hard time here. Yeah. You know? But that's... that's and quite a run. So, yeah. I mean, you back it up, it's like quite a run. Um, but, no, yeah. There's, there's no doubt, yeah. Just like, whew. I just even look from the beginning of 2017, man, on that chart. It's oh, amazing. It, how, um, it really is. It's... Let me get this up. Your Bloomberg. What's going on in the market, man? The Bloomberg can't keep up. Uh, All right? There we go. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting. We've talked about it before, right? So Amazon's, uh, Disney's pulling all their titles from Netflix. Okay. So Disney's going to be launching their own 
similar service where they're gonna have all the great Disney movies, man, that you love. Uh, and Disney is Fox now, right? What happened? There's so many mergers. I'm losing well, track know, in my you head. Know, you know what Disney's gonna have, which is really a yeah, trip, Disney's right? buying Fox, imagine, not Comcast. Imagine, you know, your 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 mother, your father of a, a young child. Yes. Right. You get them start. You, I mean. A lot of people listen to Disney when they're kids, oh, anyway. For sure, right. But you're going to go from listening like that to listening as you keep going up. That sure. that's the clicker, Definitely. right? You know what I mean? Because like the when you clicker, guys are, the clicker. Well, when you guys were <laughs> little, it was Sesame <laughs> Street, right? You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It's like they, they, well, they got Sesame Street still, and that's what you see. Right. So HBO right. signed a deal with it with Sesame Street. And that is what they realized in the same way. So HBO has their own pay service, HBO Go. Yeah. You don't need to have a cable company to pay for that on your own. Yeah. And HBO realized that, guess what? If we're going to have people paying just us for our service, we need to offer more than just great dramas. Right. You know, and so right. they have uh, Sesame Street that plays in the mornings, right. and then you can get it. I mean, it's, yeah, it's a... Talk about a competitive... And you know, that's the new blood. That's what you want. Oh, for sure, that's, right. That's, that's what they realize. The they don't want, you, want. you know... Yeah. People they don't want my me. age, your no. age, doesn't yeah. matter, man. They right. want people who are children who right. are going to get into their system and be familiar with that app that who they hit. Have to buy a lot of things. You got too. it, man. Yeah. Everybody wants everything. Kids want that. They want everything, man. Right? We all do, but yeah, <laughs> totally. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Let's go take a look at that dollar. So you get gold. Gold was up six bucks. Now it's only up two. Dollar was down at ninety four eight thirty. Now we're at ninety five oh forty, oh four rather. Um, that being said, this looks to me we're still going to basically try to get into this uh, with, where we started, where we went topside. With the big strength on the dollar, folks, was the 14th of uh, June. That's okay. when we went from 92.820 to 94.605. Um, you'll, you'll build, I suspect, we'll build some cars to get into that first. And it just might be this uh, 2 p.m. Uh, deal. Yeah, you know, Fed minutes, yeah. Yeah. Because. The, the market certainly, the Fed Fund futures market is saying, hey, we're going to have one rate for sure. We're at 61%, which is not a big, you know, we, we've seen um, these numbers change very quickly. Yeah, we've seen it go yeah. from 60 to 30, right, in, right. in, in the previous, and where things heartbeat. change and say, yeah. okay, the, the rate hike isn't coming, and, right. it, and it can change pretty right. quickly. Um, I expect what's ever in that um, minutes. Oh, they'll be, they'll be. Can move them around. It's a lot of people making a lot of money. They're going to be diving into that, trying to figure out what it means. Yeah, for and sure. I suspect what you're going to have inside of that also is that you're going to have the conversation about what are the tariffs doing? Are they doing, you know, anything to larger companies? You know, as uh, you know, the way that uh, we're spending money at retail, I, uh, it hasn't hit uh, any retail yet. That's for sure. Oh, that's, you know? yeah. Um, and I guess the differential will be is that uh, even. Um, if it does, is everyone going to start getting used to paying just more money? Yeah. yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials down 21, NASDAQ up 4, S&P's flat. Come right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, 
the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industries down 18, Nasdaq's up 3, S&P's a flat. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Teddy Kegstad, as we do each and every Wednesday at 40 past the uh, first hour, the 10 o'clock hour. Uh, Teddy, has his website is Forex Trading Unlocked. And when we talk about uh, currencies, folks, you get currencies moving out here. We get bonds moving out here. We get the, Fed, uh, we get the Federal a little Reserve action in that Minutes Forex coming market. out at 2 o'clock. Teddy Kegstad, what's going on, brother? Good morning, guys. Glad to be back again with you. Morning, Teddy. So, whew, where do we start? Yeah, man? where are we going to start out here? Uh, well, we're going to start with the uh, the dollar being uh, really on one uh, kind of a run right now. It's been getting kind of crushed the past uh, week and a half, huh? Well, you know, it came back inside the range yesterday, so it's going to be kind of intriguing. You know, you know, it, it broke out. You know, I'm, I'm looking at the index. It's 95, 440, but came back inside it, and you know, we'll see how it handles it uh, today and tomorrow. Right. Well, I'm looking for it to run out of gas now. I think it's ready for to come back for a little adjustment. Yeah, that that uh, the June 14th. That's when it had that big strength. I suspect we're going to go into that, and it's going to be intriguing to see. Okay, well, what what happens with currencies, folks? Is that they trend and they trend for long periods of time. So we'll see how this was going to shake out, man. You know. The, the, the differential is pretty intense when we look at our interest rates and the interest rates across the world. So it's like, okay, we're, you know, we know the Fed wants to go up, but yet everyone keeps buying uh, the notes and bonds. Yes, there's a nice little rally going on in the interest rate market right now. It's a little bit uh, uh, towards the other direction of what the Fed would like, right? Yes. Yeah, and that's what's so intriguing, man. Do you know what I mean? Like, we were just looking at the uh, Fed fund futures rate, Teddy, and they... You know, you're still at 61% for the meeting in December. For the second rate yeah. hike, yeah. Now, if they do that, folks, you are going to be at an overnight rate of 2.25 to 2. Point, no, 2.25 to 2.5 on the overnight rate. Well, guess what? The the 10 year is only a 2.8, but the the two year, uh, watch this. This is where this gets whacked out. The two years at 2.5. So you're saying what? The two years is going to be a 2.5 and the overnight rate is going to be 2.5? I don't think so. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So pretty wild, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Keeping gold on glue, too, as well, right? Yeah, you know, gold hasn't been able to catch a bid. You know, we got that uh, 1167 <laughs> last week. You know, bottom line, we'll see uh, if it can get back inside the range. But uh, right. until it gets back inside that higher range, it doesn't look... Uh, it's taking a lot of heat. It's got a lot of work to do, right? Oh, it's got yeah. a lot of work to do, man. Yeah. You know, right. the, the amount of... It's definitely down right now, right? I'm sorry, what? 
trend is definitely lower right now for gold. And That's you can't, it. Can't yeah. Catch any uh, bounces. The intriguing, the intriguing thing is that, like when you hear the analysis that. You know, the safe haven and all that. I've never bought that because if you actually go, I mean, you could buy that in the 80s. It seemed that, you know, you, you see gold go up 40, 50 bucks in a heartbeat. But even in, at the crash in 2006, gold went from 1140 to 666. You know, when no one has money, no one has money, man. <laughs> when they sell, well, you know that better than anyone, right? And if you be in the pits. When they sell, they sell, man. Do you know what I mean? You sell everything. You know, sure. you lose in one place, you're going to sell another place. You lose this place, you're going to sell another place. So. You know, it's it's all about that dollar, man. Yeah. No doubt. You get your cash and you start back from scratch, you, right? You, no, you, 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 you got to get settled down. Yeah, you got to get settled down. So, what, what do you what do you th now? Are you trading the yen at all? What are you thinking about this yen? Right now, the U.S. dollar yen. I'm like, I think it's ready for. Uh, it's going to keep testing support. I think that it, you can. It's a sell rally deal right now until it can close above 111. Even I know it's been a pivot we've talked about for a while now. Yeah. Um, but I, I really think it's still going to be under pressure. Yeah. No. I. You know. This we're at 110 and a half right now, folks. And you know that that yen looks to me like it just wants lower price, man. That means the yen's going to get stronger because the Nikkei is set up like that too. And then Nikkei yeah. goes out of their mind when the yen gets strong. So it's like, <laughs> yeah. And of course, the euro, it's like, okay, you know, I, I hear plenty of people say, well, what's Europe got going for them? And I, and I agree, but guess what? You know, we're at 115. The euro can breathe till 118, 119. I don't, I don't think that's a, a big deal. Um, no, it's not. It's not. And it, it's... It's in a very wide range zone. Like every time the euro, they try and crush it, it just keeps bouncing back into this area. So, yeah, I, I think that if it gets above 117, like you said, it could easily pop back to 119 for sure. Yeah, and that's, you know, with the, the top of the consolidation right now is that, that 118. So you get above that, uh, it's going to get intriguing. In fact, if, you, if we, we, we just look at this on a chart, you can speculate that is this a big head down at the bottom, you know? Sure. And, and so, sure. speculating on head and shoulders is not cool, folks. I can tell you that because, no, it, because oh. it looks like the whole market does that on a continual basis. Sure, right. <laughs> but, yeah, but it's one of the easiest patterns to recognize, it, right? I know, seriously, man. Uh, but this is a long one. This but is, if it turns into it, that shoulder it, over there at the left, that, right, it's a big one. And what yeah. happens, folks, is that the longer the shoulders are, the more powerful it actually is once they're they're actually in place, because that's the building cause. Stops in those areas. Right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, huge. Well and done. then, of course, because we came down so fast from April into the um, May area, right? You know, once you, you get above that, it's a lot easier to basically go through that type of supply line. Yeah. You know? And that was sure. a two month run, right? From the Euro. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about from yeah, oh, yeah. all the way. So, hey, Teddy, what do you think, you know, like we're coming into the fall, right? Right. The, you know, the, the aspect that there's going to be a lot of moving pieces, is, is there any currency that you think is going to move more than anything else? Uh, you know what? I think that uh, the yen is going to continue to be bouncy and kind of narrow, just like the euro. Okay. Big range trade. I think the Australian dollar is going to be the one to watch for setting the trend. Oh, I mean, interesting. It's been hammered along. Yeah. And now that the trade deals and things are starting to kind of pretty much settled down as far as they're concerned. I think that over the fall, you're going to probably start to see some good action um, and a new trend, actually, for the Australian dollar. Now, now look you know, at this. You see how oil goes. If oil starts to continue on a downward trend, yes. I think you can see the Australian dollar actually pick up against the So this is, this is pretty cool, folks. I, I have the, uh, the Australian dollar uh, up. And what? Man, this is a monster consolidation, right? The top is at 81 and the bottom 71, right? Right. That's intense, man. Now, for a foreign currency, folks, <laughs> look at that, man. Wow. And this, this is all about commodities in Australia, right? So that's Absolutely. good. That's good. Yeah. We're coming to year end when you're going to have all your year end buying and books are getting closed and things like that. Yeah. And, you know, you, you had BHP Billiton. They, they made money hand over fist. Um, right. And that, it's not that it's unusual, folks. It's a monster company. But what's unusual is that Everyone keeps saying that China's slowing down. Well, guess what? They're buying, they're still buying raw commodities hand over fist. So right. it's like, okay, they're storing them up. You know, we, we were talking about yesterday that uh, 
Um, you know, you got Iran with the oil. Can you imagine the deal the Chinese are getting on buying their oil? I mean, you know, they're not they're not buying it at spot. That's for sure. sure. You know. Yeah. Listen, folks, you can learn more about Teddy by coming over to our website at TFNN. Go right under Nadex News. Check out his articles, great articles out there. Teddy, thanks so much. You have a great one, a safe one. We look forward to speaking to you next week. You too. Take care. Thanks, Thank Teddy. You. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Faker Swim, is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow uh, down nine, Nasdaq up uh, 20, S&P's up three and a half. Oil, oil right now, we have had some action here. Yeah, one final check in through the hour, so about 10.55 now. When we were looking at it last, we were right at 67, right? right. We are saying you could take off kind of the value you had to the negative side, and yeah. if you got an exposure to the upside, and man, quite a bar that followed that conversation. So you go from under 67 to almost 67.60, and this would be your bullish spread now that you could sell that, and you'd be getting $26. You needed about 10 or 11 to break 10, even. Yeah. So that puts some positive uh, spin on the trade, but volatility nonetheless, man. We'll see what happens. Talk about volatility. Talk about momentum. Oh, yeah, tonight. Tonight, Steve Rhodes, 5 o'clock, right after your show. 
how to measure the real momentum for any market. So you can sign up for Steve's newsletter, come over to the front page of TFNN. He'll be in there for an hour with his subscribers tonight following our live programming. New subscribers can get a 30-day money-back guarantee, and Steve's going to be talking about momentum and how he looks at those charts. And, of course, you get 30 days of his Mastering Probability newsletter. I encourage people to check that out tonight. Right in the front page of TFNN. And if you can't make it live, folks, we can put it on your page. So you have to sign up right now, though. You got it. Let's go to uh, Mark. Mark, what's going on, brother? Not much, Tom. How are you? Hey, Mark. Right, man. So we got 30 uh, seconds, Mark. What's happening with the okay. VIX, man? What is going on, right? VIX is a... Well, I wanted to, to get your take on the VIX on the T-VIX. It seems like, considering how, how volatile the market is, the, the VIX is like taking a clobbering. Well, the market needs a little news to put some fire under well, it, man. Yeah, We've had a slow but, news cycle the, the last 24 hours. The market's not volatile. That's what's going on. The S&P is not anyway. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what happens. I hear what you're saying, Mark, <laughs> but man, oh, man, right? Uh, we'll see if the market gets some action. I mean, not a bad price for the VIX. I, I, I see what you're thinking, man, but, but the market's got to move for that VIX to pop. Cooking, brother. Thanks, Have a Mark. great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We got um, uh, Fast Market coming up next. Then, of course, we're going to have uh, our man Basil Chapman plus Jason. Thanks, you got it. Thanks, man. Wham! Go get him, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.